Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Rocket! Rocket! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Yuri Denisa! You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so mission accomplished for Yuri Prohaska. First champion out of the Czech Republic, but this man is not resting on his laurels. Married to the game doesn't even begin to describe it. He has worked methodically on every part of his game and believes increasingly that he is becoming as dangerous on the ground as he is on the field. Well, you can spot that wide base, that stance of Yuri Prohaska from a mile away. His opponent didn't see that right hand coming. Yeah, that right hand is, is tremendous from Yuri Prohaska. But that right hand starts with that wide base, with his ability to draw at your mistake, and then he always capitalizes on it. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. And he caught the kick. Oh, nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Three minutes in our opening round. Checks the leg kick. Prohaska gets caught with that punch. Big inside. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that knee leg of his Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. Oh! This could be it! Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nice jab there by Pro Hoska. Circling to his right. Oh, nice hook there by Rockage. to the knee strike now. Oh! All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice jab to the head by Pro Hustle. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. You ready to fight? You ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Oh, nice strike right to the midsection there. Heavy leather landed on both 
both sides in that exchange. Prohaska's shot is blocked. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can do. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Three minutes to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big pass the midpoint here in the fight. Rockets, his eye is closing up. Nice jab there. Oh, yeah, he hurt him real bad. He's still hurt. Oh, with authority, the body. You gotta get that takedown. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning. He can fight on the ground. He's lost his head, still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Lands a kick there with the lead leg. Nice work by Rockage. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite work, get the guys, finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, right, round three oh. coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do. If oh, His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Rockets is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. He's got to either go southpaw, or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. With two minutes and change to go in round three. 
Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. One and a half minutes to go. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice head movement there by Prohaska. He heard him again. Oh, massive dunk. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Prohaska's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Thirty seconds to go on the round. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Prohaska's in half guard now. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, big, big shots here. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Yuri Denisa Kusherka! All right, so our congratulations go out to Yuri Prohaska. More often than not, he is finishing the opposition, but he'll take this decision victory every day of the week. Yuri Prohaska's a dog. I mean, he's going to find ways to win fights. Tonight, it was by decision, but there was no question who the better fighter inside the octagon was tonight.